Hey there guys, today I want to talk about Clear Lag, which is a fantastic plugin for your bucket server. Um, I have already done a tutorial on this, however, uh, Clear Lag team has recently updated their plugin, so there's a couple new features that I'd like to talk about. But I'm gonna, you know, do this from scratch and basically just go over everything again. Uh, really focusing on commands more than the configuration file like last time because the config file is heavily commented so it's easy to um, understand but I'm still gonna go over it anyway so let's get started uh, the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to start the server which you already know just to review just run start bat and it will start up if you don't have that then please go back a few and you will understand now go to plugins and let's take a look. So we have the clear lag folder which is generated after running the server and we go in here and we look at our config.yml. Now I do have the download link in the description for the plugin. Just drop that inside your plugins folder and start the server. Simple as that. So once you have that go ahead and open your config.yml inside the clear lag folder. Um, I'm using brackets so it will open like this and just give it a second. Alrighty, so once we have it open, we see a bunch of commands um, all the way to the top. Um, so if you see these little hashtags and a bunch of these uh, comments, they basically tell you what all of these mean. Uh, it's really heavily commented, so it's easy to understand. Um, but I'm gonna go over a few, which I added a tilde next to. So let's take a look. Oops. All right. So let's see. Um, this one is interesting. It says disable new chunk generation. Um, so basically what that means is if a person is generating more chunks than needed or the entire server is, you can stop these people from generating new chunks. Um, just set enable to true and set the limit to anything you'd like. I'd say 6,000 is fine. Alright, and this is self-explanatory, just how long items can be left on the ground before deleting. Um, and it says the amount of time, 600 for mobs, and 240 for items. Um, let's see, global dispenser rate, that one's good, that means that people, um, the global server amount of dispensers being fired at once can only be 100, um, and you can change that accordingly. This one's really good. It uh, meters are TPS, so what that means is it basically checks um, if it gets low, then it will run the commands you enter below. For example, clear lag, that could be one of the commands, or um, you could make the server say something, or really anything. And then we have auto removal, so that's basically what you want it to say when you remove these things, and um, the interval at which it removes. You can also set what gets removed during the auto removal by simply typing in true after one of these guys. So for example, if I wanted to remove item filters, I just type true or false. And here's lag clear. What do you want to remove during this command? Um, and what do you want the world to check? So you can check for boats, falling blocks, experience orb paintings, etc. And the limit. So the max amount of things. Um, for example, the max here is 1,000, but you can limit um, fireballs, snowballs, arrows, etc. So that's enough of the config file. I'm going to close that. It's going to ask me to save, and I'm just not going to save it. So once you've done that, um, you should restart the server. However, we haven't changed anything in the config file, so it's okay. I'm going to open the game. Here we go. Go to multiplayer. Here's my development server, so let's join it. And here we go. So it says we're logged in um, and we have clear lag enabled. So I'm going to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten commands. Uh, first, I'm going to start with lag slash lag um, lists all the commands you have for clear lag, um, but I'm only going to be going over ten. So let's start with lag clear, which is towards the top. Basically, what that does is it clears all entities. So you'll watch this. It says remove one entity. That's good. So that could be some seeds on the ground or you know something like that. 
Um, this is check, lag, check. We'll check how many entities are there. We'll count them. And it says there are a total of 277 mobs alive, and there is one player alive, and there are zero items on the ground because we just cleared them. Um, then I'll go over this one last, actually. Let's go over uh, kill mobs. This will kill all mobs, so look at these two pigs in front of us. L-A-G-G, -G, kill mobs. Now you'll see that 145 mobs have been removed. This will clear up a lot of lag, um, which is great, but you need to remember that some players sometimes um, have mobs as pets, so this is a great time to use the configuration where you can specify what mobs not to delete during kill mobs. And then lag area, L-A-G-G -G area, and then you set a radius, so let's say a radius of 200. So this will remove uh, entities within a radius of you. So say I specified 200, um, it will measure 200 blocks around me and kill all the entities inside of that. Now let's see, um, unload chunks is actually one of the coolest ones. What it does is it unloads, basically removes chunks that aren't needed right now. So let's type lag, unload chunks, and you should see that 262 chunks have been removed. So that means that I'm not using chunks right now, but you'll see now they're starting to generate again because I'm looking at them. So if I'm not looking at a chunk, they'll remove them and clear up some lag. We can also do slash lag chunk in general, which is basically we'll find the largest chunk, which is taking up the most space, um, the most entities causing the most lag, and you can teleport to it. So the way you do that is you type slash lag tp chunk and then the x, z positions uh, along with the world. So for example, let me just make this make a little bit more sense. So what the largest chunk says is it's the one that's taking up most memory on the server. So you want to remove that or take care of the animals inside of it so it doesn't cause as much lag. So the way to get to that chunk is by typing its x z coordinates which were listed here so let's type it now lag tb chunk negative 39 22 and then we have to specify which world it's in so this could be in the nether this could be in the end etc so let's uh, type in world because we want to teleport to this world and we have teleported to that chunk so that must mean there's some squids in here or something or maybe there's a cave underground um, but yeah, so that's basically saying what's going on here. Um, and then I want to show you what just got messaged to the server. It said, warning ground items will be removed in 60 seconds. So any items that are on the ground will be removed in 60 seconds. And my last but not least command is slash lag reload. So what this does is it basically says if you've changed your configuration file, you can reload it without reloading the entire server. So this is common in almost all plugins. Uh, it's just good to have. And that's basically it. That's um, all you have to do for the ClearLag plugin. There is a list of uh, more commands on their page, which I will let you look at in the description. But as for now, that's all I got. Um, and I will see you in the next tutorial.